So Casa Amor Love Islander Den and Lewis from Love Island 2019 has gone on a massive rant on Instagram and I find this to be very interesting. Hey guys, it's Murad Murali. Hope you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, Murad underscore Murali, and let's get into this video. Please do not go send any hate to Den and Lewis or anybody addressed in this video. It's just for us to discuss topical affairs and that is it. Thank you very much. Now, reported, you know, quite a few places. I'm seeing on Instagram, I'm seeing on articles everywhere where he actually lost it. For those of you who don't know who he is, he was somebody who was on Love Island in 2019, the same batch where Ovi Serko came into the situation. You know, he had a bit of a fling with Mora, but then Mora decided to not bring him back um, for some whatever reason. And, they, and so I find this to be just something quite weird. No, I think she, I think she did bring him back. I don't even know. I think, did she bring him back? Yeah, I think she did. I don't even know, child. But anyways, um, he is not going on a rant. I feel like if he's been treated left, right, and quite badly because of his color, and because you know this is a racism issue, then this is why I'm doing this video. Because as I said to you, I always try to defend POC Love Islanders, black, brown Love Islanders when it comes to you know equations related to relate to them, whether it be on the show or off the show, because I'm just not here for that. And I also feel like it's a responsibility for somebody who is a person of color myself to use my platform and utilize it in that kind of way when I can. If there's something to do with that, and I feel like there are suspicions that it might be. Ex Falkirk striker and Love Island and Dana Lewis, they've branded him a flop on this particular article, but whatever. The flop is the person that's writing this article, that's the gag. But anyways, um, has branded the Scotstown Mother Fs and effing scumbags in a very angry Instagram live outburst. The player, now at an English non-league side Wellstone, was streaming to over to his 108,000 followers when he furiously ranted about Falkirk, which is a football team. After appearing to be asked about his time there, he hit out and said, F you man, I don't care about you Falkirk, mother effers, F you all. That's what I'm going to say about that. I don't want to hear no more about Falkirk because that place is an effing scumbag. After sharing on his own social media, the Scott on the receiving end of the rant revealed that Lewis had messaged him asking him to remove the video. It's read, remove my face from your Instagram before I sue you. So after sharing on his own social media, the Scott on the receiving end of the rant revealed that Lewis had messaged him asking him to remove the video. You know, he basically then was saying to the guy, remove my face in the video, I don't want to be seen, or you know, you could be liable for defamation, you could be liable for being sued, whatever, whatever. Lewis had a very short stint on Love Island after leaving, you know, and he only was on the um, ITV show for only four days. But while at the Scottish League One club, Lewis accused one of his own fans of hurling racist abuse at him. The striker said he was the victim of disgusting abuse, adding a line had been crossed during a cup tie against you know, a particular team. Then the championship club confirmed they had reported the incident to cops who were investigating, but Lewis took this to social media himself to lash out at the alleged racist comments for the, racist for their comments. But last year, Falkirk issued a public apology after a court case against of the accused was dismissed. So I feel like this is definitely to do with the racist issue. That's why he held out and went mental because he was suffering a lot of racist abuse from the past kind of couple that he was with. I've never gone through a period like this in my life which when this was first reported. From a footballing standpoint, things are not going as planned for anyone involved at the club. However, from a personal standpoint, never in a million years would I have expected to be subject to racial abuse from Falkirk fans. I understand the frustration and anger as a lover of football myself. All you want to do is see the club do well. However, for me, this is a line cross and the abuse received is disgusting. Whilst the future is unclear at this moment, in time I'm still a Falkirk player, this is when you were saying this a while ago, I will try to do my best to be, you know, for the team and support everyone involved with the club. Damn. So that was when, you know, he used to be at the club, and this is why he went on this live saying, um, mother Fs and effing scumbags, he was just going crazy saying, you know, forget them. So he goes, he, he just goes on a massive run. And I feel like, you know, if he's feeling, if he's getting subject abuse, not only from fans, but players and people within the team, allegedly, if this is what is taking place, then it can be a massive issue. Let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this video. Please do subscribe, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, Murad underscore Murali, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.